You got seven natural chords, and you got variations of those seven chords, okay? You got minors, you got sevens, you got nines, you got so on and so on. Without getting into music theory so much, we just going to talk about the major and the minor, which most people are familiar with already. So you got an A. <laughs> It sound happy. If I say play an A minor, you know that it should sound sad. A major. Minor. Major. Okay, the same thing with all of the seven natural chords. D. Major. So my challenge to you is get you a chart or you can get online, print out all of the seven major natural chords first. Start with the basic seven natural chords. Don't go, don't go printing off no variations and no sevens and no nines and all that just yet. Just do your major chords. Once you get those down and you can play each one of those chords without looking at the neck. When you can play all of those seven natural chords without looking at the neck, then move to your seven minor chords in the first position still. And that's still in that same position. That way you don't get confused going into second position and third position and trying to get too fancy and, you know, getting into different variations and all that. And you just play minor chords for like a week or two. That's all you can focus on is just minor stuff until you get your muscle memory down on the minor. Once you get the muscle memory down on your major chords and your minor chords in the first position, then you use what you know. Don't move to the second position yet. Stay in that first position and start mixing those chords. So, okay, so you got now, you got major, minor. making some stuff up right now, you know, ain't, ain't nothing, none of that planned at all. So I was just basically jumping from major into minor chords, you know, just playing around, right? Right out of chart, just test yourself, be like, all right, it ain't got to sound like no song or nothing like that. All you want to do is focus on your major minor chords writing down on a piece of paper and just flow through that chart. After about a month or so, you should have that down. Like, if, if you already... You should be able to look at a chord and say, that's a major chord, that's a minor chord, with little effort. Then from there, you can jump into the second position chords and start doing, because they're going to look different. The shape will change, but the sound won't. So that's an A major in the second position. This is an A major in the first. The same chord, different position, and you do the same thing, the same method, same approach as the first position in the second. And that's how you're going to learn to play chords on the whole neck of this guitar. That's my. That's really one of my top secrets when I first started playing guitar. Now I'm self-taught. Now I don't know how the teachers do it out there at the school, whatever it may be. That was my approach. And that's really how I learned how to play a lot of different songs real quick in different positions. Um, but practice that. Let me know what y'all think about the video. Y'all go out there and have a good one, man. Peace.